Hello guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all doing well. Yes, I'm, I've decided I'm going to try doing some um, update videos. Um, uh, lots of people, um, subscribers and that, have been sending me information on various things. So um, I've decided I'm going to share it with you guys. So um, I'll just do a little rundown now. Alright, so... Um, this is for the 26th of March, which um, is today. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get this one up today. Yeah, so I've been in lockdown for um, <clears throat> two weeks now. And uh, I think, first of all, I found most of what I was doing was just watching television for the first few days. And then uh, I thought to myself, well, this is going to go on for quite a while. So I thought I'd better find some better things to do. So. That's what I've started doing. So I've managed to keep myself quite busy actually. All right, let's turn this fan off a minute. Yes, so giving yourself lots of jobs to do around the place. Um, start new hobbies, things like that. So it's a, it's a good thing to do to always keep yourself busy really. Um, yes, we've got a couple of um, news updates that um, I was sent. Um, as from the 30th of March, they're, um, they're extending MOTs. So if your car's due an MOT in the next 12 months, then um, it's going to be extended for six months by the looks of this. Um, so for the next six months, you won't have to worry about an MOT if it's due. I've already done mine, which is quite extensive. So um, that's done. Um, yes, you can get food boxes as well, apparently. There are um, there are a number of supermarkets which are doing food box deliveries. Um, as a quick capture of the screen there, this is um, Morrison's, I believe. They're doing £35 boxes. Um, when I actually went to have a look at these, these were unavailable, but... <clears throat> I'm imagining it's probably just due to demand. So uh, maybe if you go on and check it out and you want a delivery, then that maybe they'll be available to um, you very soon, hopefully. Um, yes, the next thing. They're thinking of bringing in new uh, rules for supermarkets to uh, impose the distancing rules. Uh, many of the supermarkets have already changed their opening hours, which we've seen already because of... Um, for key workers and things like that. <clears throat> They're also reducing the number of people into the shop at any one time. Apparently some are putting spacings on the floor so uh, to keep yourself apart and to keep that social distance. Obviously to uh, reduce the queues. Um, they're putting in, apparently they're putting in barriers as well at the, um, the serving counters. Um, obviously a lot of the uh, Supermarkets use the self-service machines now, so um, I'm guessing that's how it works. But I don't know fully because, um, like I say, I haven't been to um, haven't been to the supermarket for two weeks now. Um, yes, Tesco's. Uh, as to whether some of the other uh, supermarkets are doing this, I don't know as yet. But Tesco's are limiting to three items per product, so you can only buy a maximum of three per product. Um, as like I say, as to whether that will be extended, I don't know. But you can only buy up to three, so um, which is what I understand. So if you three tins of beans, three tins of whatever, three loaves of bread, whatever, but it's per person. Not three items. <laughs> you can have more than three items, but you're not allowed to buy more than three of that one said item or that one product line. Right, what else have we got? Um, yes, possible new rules for um, home delivery services. Because they are being so inundated, it looks as if um, the deli home deliveries are only going to be available for key workers, uh, people who, who are isolating and the, um, the vulnerable. So if you're able to they're checking to see whether if people are not in those groups and then you may not be able to get a home delivery 
this is what I've found from um, Tesco's I think it was but as again this is all very late the late news or very upcoming so I haven't really heard any more on that this is just um, what I've heard so um, it could be a bit of a nuisance I mean for our from our point of view um, we shop we're shopping for a couple of other people as well who are in that vulnerable group so um, we're having stuff we've had a couple of orders here which then we've taken well I've taken to my mum for her shopping because she's obviously not online so um, how that's going to work I don't know maybe we could then have it delivered to her house I don't know but, um, again like I say this is all very new I don't really know any more at the moment but um, that's about it um, if any of you guys have got any information and you'd like me to sh if you'd like to share your info with anybody else or you'd like me to keep um, people updated on any info um, please drop me a line leave it in the message um, leave it in the comments down below or drop me a message on Instagram or whatever and um, I'll try and keep people updated because um, I think it's quite important just to know what's, um, what's going on because everything is completely changed and things are moving very quickly and um, obviously we're get, probably getting all a bit stir crazy where we're stuck indoors so um, just to keep people informed with what is actually, you know, proper information rather than just stuff everywhere. Um, obviously, if you do send me anything, I'll have to try and recorporate it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> to um, if it's um, as to whether it's fake news or not, but you know what I mean. But if, it, if you think it can help other people and you'd like me to share it, then um, please let it stick it in the comments or um drop me a message anyway um that'll do for today so um stay safe guys please stay safe stay indoors stay out of the way let the um let this virus blow itself out and um hopefully everybody's well and uh love and night to everybody and uh